going to left, they are the negative numbers. Okay? Negative numbers. So, or, yes, going to right, they are the positive number. Okay? And this one is our zero. For now, it's not accepted as counting numbers. Okay? Before, they are telling that zero is a counting number. But there is a definition again of a counting number saying that counting numbers are numbers or are whole numbers that is real. Okay? That is real and has a count. Because zero doesn't have a count. Okay? There is no value of zero. Zero is nothing. That is why now they take off zero in counting numbers. What are the counting numbers? Counting numbers are the numbers from one going to the right reading the number line. Or all positive numbers. Okay? Counting numbers are the positive whole numbers. Okay? Here. From here, going there, or from one, going to the right, until one million, two million, three million, it's up to you. They are called the counting numbers. Counting numbers are the numbers we are using in our daily life. Like for example, if you are counting your money, it, the numbers that you are using are counting numbers, okay? Like for example, you are counting the buildings in your uh, place like that. If you are paying something, we are using counting numbers. So that's the application of counting numbers. But counting numbers does not include already zero going to the left, which is the negative numbers. They are not counting numbers, okay? If we say counting numbers, they are just the positive numbers or positive whole numbers, okay? Absolute value Okay, so in absolute value, we are using a parallel line which is vertical or diagonal. Okay, inside of this uh, vertical or diagonal parallel lines, that's the place where you will put your number. And we said that an absolute value, value says that the distance from zero, okay? The distance from zero, so for example, zero is zero going to the right or going to left, okay? Whether going to the right or going to the left. So for example, the absolute value of negative three, negative three and the absolute value of, absolute value of three, okay? The absolute value of negative 3 and the absolute value of 3. Okay, so it says here, it says their absolute value is the distance from 0. Disregarding the signs. Okay, whether it is negative, whether it is positive, we are just, uh, in absolute value, we are just talking the distance from 0. So for example, 3. How many steps? 1, 2, Three. So the absolute value of positive 3 is 3. Like for example here, negative 3. The distance, let's count. 1, 2, 3. There are 3 steps, meaning the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Whether it is negative or positive, it is always positive. Yung, the absolute value. Because we are talking about distance, not the value itself. Okay, we are just in absolute value. We are value. We are talking the distance. Okay, so that's it. That is absolute value. Okay, so for example, any number. For example, you have the negative thirty-five. What is the absolute value of negative thirty-five? The answer is thirty-five. The absolute value of thirty-five. The answer is thirty-five. Like that. Okay. So if it is absolute value, the number itself, and it is positive.